So here's the question. Which will Paul pick as his favorite? He's got some tough choices to make out here. Some really, really tough choices. the first annual Orange County Choppers Invitational Bike Show. And boy, Paul Sr. himself has his work cut out for him because there are some amazing motorcycles here from all over the world. I'm gonna show you each and every one, but first, let's check out some of the old classics. And here's a look at some of Paul Sr.'s amazing creations that you remember from the show, Orange County Choppers. This one, one of my favorites, Prisoner of War Missing in Action Tribute Bike. Still a lot of OCC fans coming out too. This is Sunday, this is judging day, but this has been going on all weekend. It's cool to see where this motorcycle is evolving to as well. It was special from day one. It is a New York City chopper dedicated to the great firemen who lost their lives on 9-11, 343 of them. We'll check it out down here in Florida. Everybody has sent in patches for this display. It has now become a first responder tribute. I love it guys, this is what's so special. And I know some of you in the comments get negative on Orange County choppers. Come on, whether you like their bikes or not, you have to respect what they were able to do in television. They became pop culture phenomenon. And what they really did is they exposed motorcycles to a whole bunch of people who probably wouldn't have got interested in them otherwise. And it is for that reason that I have great respect for them and their builds. I've seen all the comments. I've seen the other videos on YouTube and everybody in Orange County Chopper, yada, yada, yada. Guys, what they did was truly amazing. And what we're gonna see outside is truly amazing as well. Here's one that's always cool to see too. This is how long Paul's been in this game. This is his very first Chopper, Sunshine, 1974. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Look at some of the celebrities that Paul has created motorcycles for. There's Tony Stewart, Will Smith, Muhammad Ali, Dave Letterman, all of them in there. Russell Crowe, how about Jesse James up here? Chubby Checker. So guys, the point that I'm trying to make is love or hate the motorcycles, you've gotta respect what this man was able to do. There's the bike Paul made for Jay Leno as well. Make sure you check out our Jay Leno interview on this channel. I think it's really cool too that Florida has been a landing spot here in St. Petersburg, Florida for all this memorabilia, all these great bikes. This is a happening spot down here. You guys gotta come check it out sometime. The OCC Roadhouse. Let's check out a few more choppers and I'm gonna take you outside. Wait till you see some of the bikes out there. Up here they have the Pilot bike. They have one that was built for Discovery as well. If you guys remember, this was the hottest thing on television way back when. Like I said, huge boost to the motorcycle industry. And hopefully somebody else makes it this big. That's right, all you shop owners out there, anybody, anybody in the motorcycle industry, if you can become a pop star like that, I will applaud you and shake your hand because it's great for motorcycles. Guys, you can get your motorcycle washed over here. There is a bike wash going on. Hard working ladies, thank you very much. All right, let's head under the tent. Oh my goodness, guys, oh my goodness, wow. Sit back, relax, settle in, call out what you like. If you know anything about these custom creations, let me know in the comments, but let's take a tour. There's a 1978 shovel head chopper out of Evolution Cycles looking great. Guys, you enjoying the show? Yeah. I love it. Where are you from? All in Illinois. Illinois. How did you find out about this show? Paul called you himself. Very cool, guys. Thanks. That's what's cool, guys. Paul Tuttle Sr. tapped into his personal Rolodex to get a lot of these builders here. So here's the question. Which will Paul pick as his favorite? 2006 S&S &S Twisted Bobber. Look at the detail here, very cool. Viper green paint, that's awesome. And this is my favorite story though, we're gonna tell you here in a little bit. Say that word. Man, they gave you a good parking spot, huh, Eddie? Front. Bike's been on the dance floor all day. Amen, front and center, guys. How about a 1952 Harley Davidson Panhead? root beer paint, all types of detail, all types of different accents. Nice bike, guys, nice bike. Where are you from, sir? 
Indiana. Indiana. This is by people. How about it? Texas. I told you they came from far and wide. 1978 Harley Davidson FXE. Classic. We're so happy you're here. All these people are excited to see you. What are you looking forward to most? I know there's going to be some great bikes and people from all over. You said it. You know, this, I, I was there out there earlier. There's some really, really nice bikes out there. Uh, I've been to, uh, you know, quite a few bike shows. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, the bikes that I see, just for the little bit that I saw, were nice fucking bikes, man. Calling this creation a 1984 Evo. Beautiful custom paint. Look at the chrome. Great attention to detail. Nice work, guys. Guys, we're just getting started. I got some crazy ones to show you. I still got to pick a favorite, and it's going to be hard. Where do you see this? Who knows what this is? Come on, I can hear you in your living room or wherever you're sitting right now watching your device. Come on, who really knows what this is? Oh, the side cover gives it away. Yes, that is a Goldwing like you've never seen before. Stripped down, they call it Goldie. It is a 1977 lightened up performance Honda Goldwing. I've never been a huge Goldwing fan, but I like this one. Yes, this one. 2003 modified machine 38 special is what it is known as very cool look at the love guys gotta get some photos Paul that's a lot of love you're being shown man how's it feel it always feels good a lot of respect man I love it and the lovely ladies from Harley Davidson are here how's the show going for you Going. Some impressive. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Some impressive bikes out here, huh? Absolutely. We're just picking to take a look at the moment. Have you picked a favorite yet? Not yet. We're Not yet. Started. Okay. We're Good luck. Started. That's a nice bike, right? You know there'd be baggers here. It's the hottest thing in the motorcycle industry right now. It's a 2005 Road Glide, custom paint, custom accents, big sound system. It is awesome, and you can tell this event, good for the family as well. He's in a ride. What do you think, bud? You going to be a motorcycle rider someday? Yeah, I'm going to be a motorcycle rider. That's good to know. Found out he's actually watching Cycle Drag. That's okay. We appreciate that. We'll get him off the device soon enough. Speaking of big front wheels, we got them over here. Talked to some of the builders. They said if they're done right, they ride like a dream. This is a 30-inch front wheel, 2002. Road Glide, pretty awesome. This one over here is a 2015 Street Glide. That's a 26 inch wheel. That is a 30 inch wheel. There's another 26 inch wheel. Let me know, do you guys like the big wheel look? I think it looks pretty cool, especially if it drives well. Throwback style Indian 2016. This one is for sale for $50,000, by the way. Plenty of bobbers here. This is a 2021 Fireball Hardtail. Gotta love the hot rod flames. There's a guy from Japan. Right? Yes. A guy came all the way here from Japan with his bike and his bike's incredible. Coming from far and wide here for the OCC Invitational Bike Show, St. Petersburg. This V-Twin coming all the way from the same country that gives us Kawasaki, Suzuki, Honda, Yamaha, but no, it's a V-Twin and it is from Japan. Right. Keith, the story on this one, you gotta tell me. This guy called us up, he barely speaks English. He said, hey, I wanna come to the show. I appreciate the invite. And uh, he shipped this bike here, came in last Friday. We've been storing it in Paul's shop. And uh, here it is on the show floor. Right. Bert, did you think somebody was gonna come all the way from Japan? Not at all. I figured maybe Canada, <laughs> maybe. Nowhere from across the pond. Well, that is cool. It is a true international happening, guys. There's 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide Black. Boy, this thing is clean. You guys having a good time? Yeah, man. What's your name? Keith. And? Story. Where are you from? Tampa. Awesome, guys. Enjoy. And there are some sport bikes over here like I promise you have never seen before. Let's check this out. What is it exactly? It is a 1991 Honda CBR 600. Dropped very low to ground. Look at this swing arm. Gotta assume we got air ride going on here, or else I don't even know how you would be able to ride this thing. Very cool, very cool stance. Right next to it, 2008 Yamaha R1. Similar stance, similar detail. 
definitely haven't seen one quite like this. Orange County Choppers Invitational Bike Show. You can come see these lovely ladies. And ladies, am I getting this right? You will wash anybody's bike. Absolutely. That is wonderful. How Nancy much? Nancy says, come check us out. $35 a pop. That's not Bye. bad. Let's take a walk down here. I want to show you some of these bikes. We have got some real cool custom creations to see, and there are builders from all over the world here. Well, we've got an award, and it is furthest traveled because, Masa, you're from yeah. Japan? Yes. Wow, how did you hear about the show? <laughs> yeah, how am I? Tell, tell me about your bike. What is it? What is this? Harley Davidson. What, what year is this thing? Yeah, Evil Custom Cycles. Thank you, Evil Custom Cycles. I wish, I wish I spoke a little bit better Japanese. Strong turnout, great weather. Look at this riding crowd. I got a question for you. What is the most difficult part of washing a motorcycle? Finding a babysitter. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go, okay. Now as for the bike itself, um, what type of product are we using? Do we shine it Bullstot. up a little bit? Yeah, we use Bullstot, so that's our primary product. Okay. We don't use anything with wax in it because a lot of bikers don't like a, a wax in their wash, so we use just strictly soap, so okay. it's a lot of fun. Check out this 2000 soft tail. Is this thing clean or what? Beautiful, beautiful bike, love the paint. Love the details in the engine. Not a bad way to celebrate your 74th birthday for this motorcycle legend, Mr. Paul Tuttle Sr. I got to shake your hand. Congratulations. The first annual Orange County Choppers Bike Show, a huge success, 80 motorcycles, more than 40 builders. What's your impression of what you're seeing behind me here? Uh, I, listen, I think that... Um, I think the whole thing is really cool and well needed, but I, I, there, the bikes were here were exceptional. I've been to bike shows, you know, quite a few bike shows, and you know, there's usually a handful of uh, bikes that are nice. It's just, just too many bikes here to pick from. Here's what I got to ask you too. We were following you, and you were taking careful looks. And at one point with the choppers, you were asking about the down tube and the rake. What do you look for when you're grading these bikes? Um, I, yeah, I mean. It, not just one particular thing, you know what I mean? I, it could be the, mostly the lines of the bike is what I look at, you know, and um, and, and the craftsmanship. There's a few things, yeah. Kind of event that helps everybody. Keith with OCC Roadhouse selling drink and food. And my man Bert selling Harley Davidson's over there. Very cool. Look at that American flag, guys. Is this a great mix of bikes or what? This is a 2004 Softail Heritage right next to it. We go back quite a few years. 1973 Bobber. Now it has pedals. Does that mean you don't have to plate it and tag it? We just talked about that debate with our electric bicycle review. Very interesting. This one for sale, by the way. You can own it for $30,000. Here's the 1977 XL1000. They call it the Custom Redneck Blue. That's what they call the paint. It's beautiful. Well, my favorite story of this entire bike fest is you, Eddie Canal. You are the man. You've been following Cycle Drag for a while. You contacted me a week ago. You said, hey, I need to sell this top fuel bike, originally built for Sean Garrigan. I used to watch it in the 90s. I said, why? You gave me the heartbreaking news, and um, we were all praying for you. Why don't you share with people your story, though? Um, yeah, January 1st, I was diagnosed with uh, late-stage uh, lymphoma. And uh, it kind of went to my larynx. I did surgery on my neck, but um, I've had four chemos now. I've got two more to go. Um, this next week, we'll find out through a PET scan how I'm doing with the treatment. But it's a very, very, very strong form of cancer. Uh, lymphoma's bad, but there's subtitles under it, and I got B-cell. So it grows every 15 minutes. But 
Uh, just got to fight. Hey. Came out as hell. <laughs> I told you, man. You got you got the Spider-Man hat on. You're a fighter. He's going to be here for the next 20, 25 years. But here's the thing, guys. He does need to get rid of that top fuel bike. It's going to help pay for his chemo. So we told him if anybody's interested, and you are blowing it out, $25,000. We just parts need to work 30. Parts work 30. And it comes with a bunch of parts. So, hey, God bless. And it's like the Tim McGraw song, Live Like You're Dying, because I told you, you're seven hours away. I said, there's a bike show this weekend. I said, I'm there. I am feel good. I'm coming. Yeah. So I didn't feel good, but I was coming. <laughs> isn't there a lesson to be learned in that for all of us, though, that we put things off in life. We don't do things, but none of us know how many days we're from. Um, yeah, live every day, every second of every day. Amen, my brother. Will you keep it up? He's going to be here a long time, guys. What do you think? Thanks so much. And that is a beautiful bike. We're going to find a beautiful home for it. Thank you, Jack. You do so much for racing. Thank you, brought us a long way. And you're going up, buddy. I appreciate you, I'll see you, man. you. You'll be like the next Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Thank you very I know. much. Jay Leno called you for an interview. He's <laughs> on the wall over here. Speaking of Jay Leno, did you yeah. say something about Jay Leno? Man, look, there you is. interviewed Jay Leno. Oh, man. thank I you, man. met Jay Leno. It was a pleasure. We know, I think Jay secretly likes his Orange yeah. County. He Trump, loves that bike. He, he loves, loves it. He broke bike. down, unfortunately, on it, but yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Good time. We got Eddie here. We got Scott here. And you know, Larry McBride, he wears an Elmer Trent t shirt every time he races. You guys are telling me as a tribute, you drink beer with a Larry McBride shirt? That's right. That's right. That's right. When we drink, we'll wear a Larry McBride shirt. So later tonight, we'll be wearing a Larry McBride shirt. Oh, Larry, we need more shirts. That's awesome. What a great tribute. We appreciate it, guys. Having a good time. Paul, oh, I know you don't remember me. 2003, Daytona Beach. You all were at the end of the thing next to the weird to go across open water, parking that third thing. I took a picture with the fire department bike. Okay. You remember that years ago? No. I just got to remember yesterday. <laughs> hey, I'm the same way, brother. Good seeing you again, uh, man. This is it, guys. Total respect being shown to Paul Tuttle, the legend. This is what it's like anytime he comes oh. out, guys. This is what it's like in person. He's out. Uh, Very cool. Fiction. Doing his thing, judging some motorcycles, all different categories. Let's see what catches his eye. Uh oh. There we go. So there, 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 there's a. Uh, you know, I, I, I like baggers, but. I don't know. There's kind of like too many of them, but 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 I do appreciate them. So I'm a chopper bobber uh, type of guy. You know, I like the long front ends, and yeah. That's what's cool, and I've always wanted to ask you that too. I see one of the gentlemen sat you right on his baggers, and I asked your buddy Jim here. I said, could we ever see Orange County baggers? Would that ever happen? No. That didn't take long to answer. Well, let me ask you this though. I go to Daytona. I go to Sturgis. I'm not seeing as many choppers as I used to. Is it something where you think it could come back strong? Maybe the bagger phase will cool off one of these days? I don't know. Uh, choppers never leave, and they always do a complete circle, so they never go away, choppers. Even, even if they're not around for a while, it does a full circle all the time. So, you know, I've been, uh, I've been into it since the 60s, and, 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 you know, I've been into choppers since then, you know. And like I said, they might have been cooler back then, but now they're coming back again. And they're more, uh, they're, they're a little bit more advanced, I guess. Uh, there's so much more technology now. But, um, the, you know, a straight up chopper to me is, that's my thing. Oh, I, I definitely like the look of them, and I like the guys that are keeping them alive. It's pretty darn cool. 1975 Harley Davidson shovelhead. They call it white trash, white rice. Not sure why, but okay. All right, now I know that I've shown you a lot of crazy choppers on this channel, but have you ever seen one like this? What's this thing like to ride on the street? Crazy, and it's got a Honda CB engine in it. That, my friends, is a rake. 1976 Honda CB 750 candy paint. This thing is truly amazing. It's catching a lot of attention here as well. This is what the custom world is all about, something that's not cookie cutter, something that is unlike what everybody else has, and this is certainly the case. Let me know yes or no in the comments, your thoughts. Well, we know 
Paul Paul Tuttle Sr. has put a lot of impressive job. Has he ever seen one with a rake like that? Paul, have you ever seen a rake that long? What's such a low down to? How, how long is this down? How, how, much how long is the front? Six down, foot down. long front end. No, the down to. How, how, uh, I don't even know. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's not really a long down to for, for a front end at all. Usually the front higher than me. Think about that. That's, 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 that's a gooseneck frame. Yeah, that I made. Wow. Six, six foot long front end on it. What's this thing like to ride? Is it comfortable? It's not too bad. Not too no, bad. It's got to get going. Thanks for showing us, Paul Senior. Obviously caught his attention. It looks like a, it looks like a top fuel dragster is so long, guys. One of the many bikes here at the first annual Orange County Choppers bike show. A lot of tough picks, that's for sure. Are you having a good time? Are you having a good time, young lady? That's what it's all about. Shout out to you, all the fans here. 1953 Panhead Chopper over here. Right next to another chopper, 1988 Evo chopper, multicolor, pretty cool paint. Nineteen seventy-four shovel head, right next to a really old Harley Davidson. This is a nineteen forty-nine black pan head. Take a look at this one, too, guys. Is this crazy or what? One of the most unique motorcycles here. Look at the fab work. It's a 1998 Ultra Classic. It's got a 26 inch front wheel, but what really sticks out and gets you is this unique fairing, this unique fab work. It is something to behold and it has garnered a whole lot of attention. Check out this 2002 Harley Davidson Road King. Beautiful paint, garnering a whole lot of attention as well. This one out of Hellraiser's Fabrication. They've done a great job. Really, really impressive. I know Paul Sr. was taking a good hard look at this one. Maybe a little tribute to the Terminator. Very cool. Thank you for the hard work. We appreciate it, guys, Thank all weekend are, long. Guys. Come see him. What was your name again? MJ. MJ. And Angela. All right. Come see him, guys. $35, you get your bike washed, you can leave them a nice tip. These hardworking girls, they deserve it, and they will clean your motorcycle up to perfection. Keith wrapping up a great night with Jack. What a show, huh? Dude, what a this show. He's the best front man in the business every single here, time for 40 your, fucking here's years. Your, here's your $5. <laughs> <laughs> $5 hey, 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 Give it to me. Let me tell you mine. something. Jackal has been around since the early 80s, 1991, 1992, the heyday. They are better today than they were then. I swear to God. We've been very blessed best. to surround ourselves with great people, and I'm talking about Keith and Bert right here. OCC Roadhouse, Birch Barracuda, not a better host ever. If you ever want to come see a show, have an experience, it's the greatest right here. This venue is hands down all of Florida, right here, baby. <laughs> it's Jesse James Dupree from Jackal saying, get all up in it, brother Jack's filming it, and if he could not film it, just like the National Enquirer, if it wasn't true, he couldn't film it. So there we go. Rock me, roll me, Jack on me, I'll give you a, give, give, me, give me a big pa pow Here's my five bucks, but yo, you hold on to it. You need it. Pow, baby. Won't ask me a thousand goddamn Because I'm trying to
it's taken me about two years to convince this guy to even think about this. But you know what? There's nothing but all juniors and seniors and quadruples out there. And all I got to tell you is this. They're all your fan, but you go out there and look at them. You've inspired every single one of them. That's true. Every single one of them has been inspired by you, Paul. And what's unique about it is every one of them has got something so unique about their bike. Unless you talk to that builder, you will not know what it is. Yeah. And I got to tell you, I got to thank you for that because that's exactly what this is all about. It's 100%. special. 100% special. 1973 Harley Davidson custom rainbow bike. All right, Cycle Drag metric fans, we got a little something for you. Don't worry, let's go outside, check out some of these ride-in bikes. Out here we have what we learned in our Jay Leno interview is Jay's all-time favorite metric bike, a Honda CBX six-cylinder monster, guys. These things, classic, collectible. As we learned at Meekum, sales not great back in the year 1979, but everybody wants one now. Speaking of everybody wants one, how about the Kawasaki H2 750, two-stroke, triple, another legendary and iconic bike. This one just super, super clean. I know I want one of these someday. How about you? How about the old school Yamaha flat track racer here on the property? Very cool. I bet this thing is snappy and fast on the street. <laughs> Got the old school Kawasaki ZZR1200 riding in to enjoy the show. Very cool, nice bike. 04. 04, 2004. Where are you from? Here. Excellent. Enjoying the show so far? Yes, sir. Excellent. Well, you enjoy that. It's an yeah. awesome bike. I love it, guys. He's put 80,000 on that bike. 80,000 miles on it. He's a rider. That's what I like. We got the Katana over here, Katana 750. Very cool old school bike. Another rider coming in. This one coming in on a triumph. Big celebration of motorcycles all weekend. So after this young lady gets done washing the bike, you dry it as well. That's right. That is pretty cool. Well, shout out Mac. You got your bike washed over here. Are you happy with the job that she did? Absolutely. Another satisfied customer. You're doing a fantastic Thank job. You guys. Thank you for your support. Take a look at it. She has been washing bikes here all day long. We got the Harley bagger. We got the shoes coming off and the flip flops coming on. Ma'am, I love your dedication to safety. You did not ride with your flip flops, right? Thank but you, you. But you brought your flip flops. I brought them for the show. That's, That's a good cool. call. Excellent. Where are you guys from? Carpet Springs. Excellent, beautiful. Did you have a nice ride up? Yes, we did. It's, it's good to hear, guys. Good to hear. Celebration of motorcycles this weekend. Kate, we got wine. Somebody's drinking wine today? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Good to see you. Kate's working hard. Oh, well, very cool to see the husband and wife riding team. What is your name, ma'am? Shelly. From? St. Petersburg. I love it. And your name, sir? Dave, all the way from St. Petersburg, Florida. How was the ride in? Fantastic. Very cool. Beautiful That's day. Cool. That's the great thing about Florida. A lot of good riding weather down here. How much Red Bull are you running on right now? Uh, a lot of Red Bull, a lot of coffee. Amazing <laughs> coffee here, guys. <laughs> Lots keep, of coffee. Keep up the good work. Thank you. What a ride in crowd, huh? Very impressive. They got something going here at this complex, guys. They got something going. I think this is going to get really, really big moving forward. Let me ask you this, this being the first annual, have talked to Bert and Keith, they're already looking forward to the second one. What do you think about the potential for this event to grow next year? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. I, I, I think next year it'll probably be double. I think everybody here appreciated everything. We're such great builders, you know. Everybody was like so respectful. And I, I really appreciate, I really appreciate that. But they're they're already posting their, that the exceptional, the way they were treated and the good time that they had. So I, I expect, um, I expect at least twice next year. Go mark your calendars. People's Choice first place. Those are votes. 
that got cast on a ballot by an individual that came here for, with a card. They paid five dollars. By the way, that five dollars went to Burt's Great American or Burt's. Uh, nice day to ride, as always, down here. Big turn. Good lord, look at this front wheel. Oh my gosh, that might be bigger than 30. Oh, 32, he tells me. 32, how big do they get? Whew. Let me know in the comments. Bunch of vendors here this weekend, rally type atmosphere. Jewelry, product, the whole nine yards. Nice little event that they're having here. Get back to some of the show bikes. Here's a 1949 custom panhead. This thing gorgeous or what? And Burr, one thing I gotta ask you about too, a lot of people think Paul is done building bikes. You just got a very special motorcycle, didn't you? Yeah, you'll see her a little butt tomorrow. Oh, oh I can't oh, wait. I can't She's wait. She's cute guys. too. How about that? For your number one of this bike show, I'm really impressed. 2002 Harley Davidson Low Rider ST. A lot of custom, a lot of red accents. It's come together very nice. 2017 Pro Street Harley Davidson. Very, very cool. 1978 Red and Black Shovel Head. Gorgeous motorcycle. Pedals again. Check this out, guys. A lot of people want to know where do you get that Hoosier Slick on the back to match the front because they don't make that size anymore. And it's actually a different tire that you have modified. What kind of tire is that? Yeah, it's a MH Race Master 16 by five ah. on the back of it. So had to do some modifications, make it match. Very cool, looks great. We gotta get this thing to the drag strip. Check this out, all types of custom parts and everything for sale. 2013 Harley Davidson black and copper pearl right next to it. We've got the 1969 Harley Davidson's gorgeous, it's blue. Where's my old school Panhead fans? There's a 1951 Harley Davidson Panhead. Again, the root beer paint, and check out this machine. Very cool, beautiful. Love the attention to detail over here on this 2010 Harley Davidson Soft Tail. Well, here's another huge chopper you can own. You can pause this video if you want the information. Give him a call. He's trying to sell it. He's got the big SNS power plant. And check out these crazy things. Wow, very, very cool. And we've seen a lot of choppers with Honda CB motors. Here's an actual old school Honda CB in the chassis that it was meant to go into. We've seen a lot of impressive custom paint jobs here as well. And we can't forget about my buddy Flying Ryan Ayler, NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle Racer. We've got the whole El Bandito crew here displaying. How cool is that? Ryan's second home is right here in Clearwater, so when he gets a break from the NHRA tour, he comes down and displays. I gotta tell you, Ryan gets it. He's a smart marketer. This is a way to give back to your sponsor more visibility. If it's not a race weekend, show him something like this. You never know who you're gonna meet. You never know who might want to start following you, who might want to start coming to some of your races. It is pretty cool. Ryan's a Wally winner and he's looking for more. We saw him test right down the street at Showtime Drag Strip. This is a great area. Look at the attention that he's getting right now. Very, very cool. I like it. Speaking of drag racing, here's a company that cut their teeth in drag racing. Shout out Kevin Gillum, Paul Gast, Electron. Here's a chassis that the Honda CB engine was not meant to go into, but it sure does look cool, huh? Pretty cool bike, guys. Another Honda CB engine out here in the chopper. That seems to be the popular choice if you're not gonna go V-twin, Honda CB. Does anybody have a KZ chopper, Z1 chopper, GS chopper? That'd be pretty cool. I'm sure somebody does down below. Let me know in the comments. 1959 custom chopper over here. 1955 custom pan head. We then move to the 1980 FLH blue and silver. Take a look at it. Oh, I love this. Love the paint. 1937 Harley-Davidson 60s style. Beautiful chopper. Love it, guys. Love the throwback vintage look. 1980 Harley-Davidson custom chopper over here as well. It's going to be a really, really tough pick in the chopper category. 1989 chopper and here we have the 1973 rainbow custom chopper
are getting a lot of attention, guys. 1974 engraved shovel head. Check out the detail on this thing. Look at this, guys. Very cool. Engraved shovel head. I like it. That's a beautiful motorcycle. That's the first row. My pro street fans will like this row. I love this look. Just so simple, so clean. This one's pretty cool as well. This is a 2015 custom. A whole long line of custom bikes here under the tent for year number one. I think they're really onto something too. You gotta imagine with Paul Tuttle's Rolodex and all of our friends here, you know, maybe you get a Jesse James here next year. Wait a minute, is it the legendary Jesse James? Are you really the legendary Jesse James? Sometimes, only in my own mind. What do you got on your hat? Cycle drag. You're the man. Do you watch the Cycle Drag YouTube channel? No, but you should. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you'll start watching, and I appreciate it. Yep. Maybe you get some of the big shots, some type of big build off. The sky's the limit, but anytime you see an event in its first year this successful, it's a sign of good things to come. Look at this monster, very cool. So many Harley baggers here, they are clean. And guys, you know, it just wouldn't be a cycle track video if we didn't find a Hayabusa. I found two Hayabusas. There it is, guys, love it. Gen 2 Hayabusa, taking a look at the plate, all the way from Texas. Hayabusas from Texas, how does that happen? Quickly. How'd you find out about this event? Chance. Chance, sure okay, yeah. what's your name? Spencer and Cheryl. Nice to meet you guys. You didn't ride in, did you? That's, yeah. a, that's a long ride on a Busa from Texas. Oh, no, no. no. I was we're, gonna we're say. We live down, down here and, now. Uh, we're staying at a uh, RV resort. There you go. Well, you guys Great. be careful, I love them. My longest ride on a Busa is a thousand miles and my butt still hurts, so. <laughs> you guys enjoy though, be safe. Let's, we got another Gen 2 over here, all the way from Texas. Suzuki High Busa Power. This show is a doggone good time. Good lord, he's a big dog. Wow, that's a big dog right there. He's hot. Big honor over here. You said when it matches your bike, you weren't kidding around. How about that, my man? Thank you very much, guys. If you want to see me at the races or a cycle drag shop on Facebook, get a shirt, get a sticker. So many bikes in here this weekend. This has been a heck of a turnout. I know they, they put you on the spot. A, a lot of you get mobbed to begin with, but people were really mobbing you because they wanted you to pay special attention to your bike. What motorcycles really stood out to you? I, I thought the Chopper class really had some nice stuff. There was a a um, a nice Honda out there. For, it was um, I'm trying to think what class it was in. Um, the gold one. That was a nice bike. Um, well, that is pretty cool. That gold wing was deserving. Very cool motorcycle. Evolution Choppers taking home a little more. Congrats, Evolution Choppers. Well deserved win. People's Choice going to Weems. Very cool. $1,000 cash to this gentleman. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. This free show cost us. gets one all the way from Japan. Congratulations, Massa. Wow, man, we knew that that motorcycle would be proud. A lot of extra Paul Senior choice. 
double award for Masa. That makes the long trip from Japan pay off. Pleased to be joined with Jared Weems from Tampa. Congratulations because a winner. You know, cycle drag, we love drag bike. Old school, very cool, unique design, and you win the competition class. What's this mean to you? Good. You know, we won out at Born Free with best competition. Yesterday we won the People's Choice, Builder's Choice. Uh, super excited to just be able to keep, number one, this brand triumph alive and out there in the public because, you know, we go to Harley shows all the time and it's 90% Harleys and you hardly ever see a triumph. So keep the brand out there. But much more on top of that, the old drag racing. I mean, drag racing is something. I grew up on the drag strip, it's in my blood. And to be able to bring a show quality race bike out for people to enjoy, that's what it's all about. For me. Great job, man. I love seeing it. Is this cool or what? What a show it was. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Paul, wrapping up with you here, what's next for you? I know you've been busy in the shop, busy in the garage. What's next for you? Uh, I guess I'm starting filming again. Uh, we're starting a new, a new show. So that'll be, uh, I guess that'll be my next thing, yeah. We'll look forward to that. Is it is anywhere specific that's going to air yet, or is that to be announced later? No, that'll be announced later, yeah. It'll be announced later, guys. Final thing, Paul, I like catching with my legends. The best life advice you could offer to any young person right now, with everything you've accomplished, what is the best life advice you could offer? I mean, I could say follow your dream, and and uh, but I, me personally, I think the biggest thing to success is perseverance. Well said, my friend. Well, congratulations on a great first show, guys. Happy 74th birthday to the legend. We're hanging out here having a great time at the first annual Orange County Choppers Bike Show. With the inaugural OCC Invitational Bike Show, I couldn't be happier. Congratulations to all the builders that came. We love them. Thank you all very much. What a great weekend it was. That is the way to get the award personalized. Picture is worth a thousand words because Fast Eddie, that was the smile on your face after your first six seconds. Six seconds class, yeah. huh? How cool is that, man? Priceless memories, huh? Yeah. God, I'll tell you, it's these memories that mean more than anything, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, well, God, thank you so much for sharing this stuff with us. He's got a stack full of photos oh, yeah. that we're going to have available on Cycle Drag. Heck, yeah. Thank you very much, cool. Eddie. Appreciate it. We've got these nice young ladies offering to wash motorcycles, and who is it? Wait a minute. Is that NHRA uh, Pro we, Stock motorcycle, motorcycle Racer Flying Ryan? Hey, Flying Ryan, are you are you on your Burrow Max scooter? Or are you this in is our El Bandito custom uh -huh. painted Burrow Max scooter, and of course, you know we don't get a lot of time to clean our motorcycles back at the racetrack, but here we are at First Barracuda. Wow! OCC Roadhouse, let's do it up. So you are going to get your scooter. This is an electric scooter, by the way. Is it okay that these girls just douse it with? Ladies, have you ever washed an electric scooter? Um, no, but I have ridden the e-bikes here that they sell at Burt's Barracuda, and those okay. are a lot of fun. That's cool. But Very I didn't cool. wash them, so I'm kind of excited for a new experience. Excellent. Can't wait. Well, we can't wait to get it nice and clean. Take a look at it. we got to ask this young lady, have you ever seen an NHRA drag race? Not at all. This is the first one we're doing here in Snazzy says we're super excited guys How bring your that? bikes come see us Ryan, i think you might need to hook them up with some pit pass or something these ladies need to be exposed to nhra pro stock motorcycle drag racing that along with all the other Woo! facets of nhra you got 12,000 horsepower cars and motorcycles that go zero to 206 seconds what, you, what else do you want now there's only one problem for you they just told me they're huge matt smith fans number one but i think perhaps who, who is it that's who true isn't a matt? that's true i mean it's like He's steve johnson or matt smith multiple pick, yeah, everybody's you know? steve johnson fan multiple championships now, we got a lot of posing. I don't see much washing going on. Now. I, yeah, I, I think it's coming. <laughs> the good news for Ryan, that's okay. The good news for Ryan is he had such clean motors. What do you think about this bike fest that they have going on here? This is a really cool complex with the Harley dealer there, the concert facility and restaurant there, OC Roadhouse. What's your impression of this facility? This place is amazing. This is like the number one motorcycle mecca of, of Florida, in my opinion. You know, we just came from Bike Week a couple weeks ago, but yet this is Bike Week every day down here. So this is a, a really cool place, great food, great people, awesome motorcycles, and uh, be looking for some more stuff to come out of Flying Run. You might see even more down here at Birch Barracuda. Can't wait. What type of product do we have in there? Do we know? Do we got different? We have Bull Snot and our Harley Davidson. Okay, and I noticed we're all stocked up with microfiber towels. And young lady, you told me you're an ex-professional mixed martial arts fighter. Absolutely. That is awesome. That's why I'm comfortable being out here with all the rough and tough, because I can handle my own. You can handle your own, and, and you got the endurance to wash motorcycles all Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Congratulations. We do it about five days a week, so we're very proud. We 
Okay. Work very hard. Well, making bikini washes great again. Excellent. Yeah. Keep up the good work, ladies. Burrow Max, Fly and Ryan Ayler together. Ryan, they might need this in NHRA pits. We, could this possibly be an NHRA? I pit? mean, we're going to advocate for that. I think okay. it's a good idea. I think so you too. Know, I mean, we want to clean motorcycles. Do you think the rest of the field would like maybe like you know how we do the parade lap? Maybe everybody gets their motorcycle washed. I mean, we'll we'll put an email out. We'll see what comes back. But you know, I mean, at this moment, I think. Uh, I mean, they got my vote, right? I, th I agree. I don't think it would be a bad idea if you want to try something new. And then, you know, I mean, of course, for the talented female riders out there, maybe we have a very strong man washing their motorcycle. So we'll keep it equal opportunity. But anyways, Ryan is getting a bike wash. Guys, come see him here at Burt Barracuda Harley Davidson. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, the legend is here. How are you doing, sir? I'm cycle dragging. I'm cycle dragging. That's what I'm doing. Cycle dragging forever and ever and ever. You are the man. Sweep the leg, right? Sweep the leg, no mercy, and cycle dragging.